Hey, welcome to another episode of It Resolves. My name is Kevin. My name is Will. And, uh, oh, sorry, you have the intro now, don't you? Do I? I oh. forgot. Welcome. <laughs> Thanks for listening, watching, visiting, whatever you're doing on this fine Monday day. As always, you can find us on Patreon, on Facebook, on Twitter, Instagram. Did I forget any? Um, Twitch. Did oh, Twitch? Twitch. No, I didn't. Twitch. We stream on Twitch. Uh, Go to Twitch. Hang our out boys, with us. Uh, Our boys. Our boys. Our sweet baby boys. They belong to us. Alex, That's not true. Alex and Barbs. <laughs> no, no. I know Alex's mom. He, she wants to keep him. She's, are you sure? She's fond of him. Man, I really want to. As most mothers are. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, guys. We really encourage you to check us out on all of the, uh, the mentioned uh, social media sites, as well as Twitch. We do stream Ooh. on there. More regularly now. We don't really have a yeah. schedule, but we get to stream pretty regularly. Yeah, which but is every nice. now and then. If you yeah. if you follow, which following I believe is free, you just you get notified whenever we go live and yeah. you know, all that stuff. Whew, that wasn't rocky. Good stuff. No, not at all. We got there. We got there. We got there. Uh top of the week. A little rusty. We gotta it's get fine. back in. We're it. out of practice. Not um, that we did this yesterday, but it's fine. <laughs> um <laughs> as you may notice, we have shirts. We have these Ooh. fantastic cups. Uh Ooh. brought to you by Andrew, our friend. Uh, who has provided these for us? Uh, some of which we'll be doing in our 500 follower giveaway oh, on Instagram. Yeah. Some of y'all get some uh, free stuff. We're some getting very close. Some swagger. Some swag. Uh, we are, I think, at almost 480. We're at like 476 as of the recording of this. Wow. So I think we're getting really close. Um, That's nice. So as soon as we hit 500, mm. we'll post something about that. We'll give you all the details, what you need to yeah, do. Yeah. Um, some of you are probably already eligible if you're following us on Instagram. So that's all you really Wink. need. Um, but yeah. yeah, so look forward to that very soon. Hopefully this week. We might actually yeah. be able to kick that off this week. That'd be exciting. I'm excited. Yeah. Um, but cool. Uh, this is our deck tech day. Before we get into our deck techs, our vintage deck techs, we got a we we got our card of the day. Warm up our brains. Our card of the For day. Hundred percent random. Always funny to see what happens. <laughs> Give a. Why don't you roll that little... Three, two, one. Elephant Resurgence. Yes. This is the name of my the ska art, band. Uh, each oh player God. creates a green elephant creature token. Those creatures have... This creature's power and toughness are each equal to the number of creature cards in its controller's graveyard. Okay. Um, this is a rare from Prophecy. Which kind of makes sense. Right? Yeah, it's, yeah. It's weird enough to be from Prophecy. Yeah. And at the rare. Art, though. The art is sweet. It makes me so happy. It's an it's like an a plant elephant being rebuilt. Right? Yeah. Would you yeah, say? Yeah. yeah. It's like being pulled from the graveyard, and uh, yeah, it's actually really cool. This um, is cool. What do you think about the card, though? It's it's just so weird. I really like it at two. Um, at two, it's really not bad. I don't know if it's like like it's not constructed bible, is it? Like you would probably play this in not. Anything. Maybe like. In, no, not really. Not in any of the formats it's legal. Is you know what thing. you would do is you would play this in Commander just to be silly. Oh. Because okay, everybody yeah. in, in the the game would get an elephant. And yeah. you had no clue who's going to have the strongest elephant until you play this card. Yeah. Like, yeah. I would definitely do that. I mean, it's a funny card. It's I like it. Um, <laughs> yeah, if you've got a creature heavy deck, I mean, it could easily turn into, say, like a 9-9. Nine, nine. For two. Yeah. Which seems great. That's um, um, a little yeah, above the curve. Yeah, but I, overall, no. <laughs> yeah, like, it doesn't really go into much constructed things. I don't think it's bad, necessarily. It just doesn't have a place, you know? Yeah. Because it could easily be a 3-3 three, three for 2. But then again, your opponent gets one, too, so maybe it is. Yeah. Know. It's yeah. it's not constructed viable, but... The thing is, when anytime you're depending on your opponent for anything, you're you're kind of putting yourself at risk for being in a really bad place. Because... You can do all you can to make sure your graveyard is filled with creatures, but you don't have... I mean, there are cards that give you control over your opponent's graveyard, but, sure. like, normally you don't have just control over that. This does actually work kind of well with Leyline of the Void, uh, which exiles your opponent's graveyard cards. Yeah. I and mean, then they just don't get anything, and for two, you get a really strong elephant. I yeah. hope if it's a build around thing, but but I mean you wouldn't build around elephant resurgence. No, you though. wouldn't. I mean it's I guess not you, worth it. You could maybe build around leyline with effects like this. 
Yeah, I mean, maybe. I, just, I don't think that deck would it's be just, good. No, but... <laughs> it's just, no, it'd be terrible. Yeah. But I would make it. <laughs> it's worth a shot. It'd be fun. Anything's worth a shot. Who knows? <laughs> yeah. Maybe. It's an um, interesting card of the day. I right? like it. Because <laughs> it's not bad. It just, it's like retired, you know? Ma- yeah, retired might Does be a good sense? word for it. But the um, art is not. It shall live on forever. No, that art is awesome. <laughs> Who's it by? Oh. Uh, Naturalizzi. That guy. <laughs> Terizzi. De Terizzi. Him. De, De Terizzi. I don't know. I don't know. We are not versed in our no, magic artists. Um, uh, l- let's move off of the card of the day. <laughs> I'm fine with that. All right. So. Elephant resurgence. <laughs> Goodbye. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, as you guys know, this is our Monday Deck Tech episode day. Uh, this week, our, we have, we've got a couple vintage decks. Mm-hmm. Um, two, to be exact. Two, to be exact. I said a couple. Um, here's the deal, though. We have talked about this before, and we restructured this a bit. Whoa, it used whoa. to be that you and I would each go off, pick a deck, yeah. come back and talk about it. Um, what we've done this time is we've made a post on our social media outlets uh, and encouraged you guys to suggest a vintage deck that you wanted to hear us talk about. We got mm-hmm. a few suggestions. Uh, one of those I have picked. Mm-hmm. Uh, to use as the community deck tech. Okay. And then you have also brought us a deck tech right. as well. I picked the It Resolves deck. <laughs> the It Resolves and deck. And he's got the the audience deck. The community deck. Community, excuse me. Yeah, the community deck. I Sounds forgot we named better. it. I was we like, did name it. Here, I should, that just, is a thing. I should come up with the name right now. You already did that. Anyway. <laughs> You're doing great. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's a rough day. It's it is Monday, day. right? That's how it goes. Yeah, Mondays are always rough, but it happens. All right, okay. so why don't you tell us about your deck? I'd love to. I'll go first. All right. So with it being vintage, um, I thought we'd bring a deck uh, that both of us really like mm-hmm. um, for a number of different reasons uh, that we'll get into. I really like it because it brings sort of a, a modern card, a newer card into vintage and makes sure. it really strong. Yeah. Um, in saying that, this also has a few other cards from the modern era, not the format, the like printing um and brings them to the forefront which i think is cool yeah um let's let's run right into it the deck today is a mentor is a mentor deck uh we've stated before on the show that this is probably strongest in vintage yeah um now we'll explain why a little in depth if you didn't pick up on it before (laughs) know before uh, Monastery Mentor is Kevin one of your favorite cards. Would you it say? is actually one of my favorite cards. I think as yeah. far as creatures, it's I I I don't want to say it's my favorite because I'm obviously not running through every creature in the world at this point. But um, there's a lot. It's up there is one of my favorite for sure. It's just so good, such value. Oh yes, let's let's get into that. let's yeah, yeah. run through that right now. So the namesake of the deck, Monastery Mentor, of course, is a two two for three, uh, with prowess. That says, whenever you cast a non-creature spell, put a 1-1 white monk creature token with prowess onto the battlefield. This card, uh, yeah. This, this wouldn't be nearly <laughs> as good if they were just 1-1 tokens. The Although, f- let it be known, it'd still be pretty good. Oh, yeah. Because the thing about it is, like, the easiest comparison in my mind with this is Young Pyromancer. And that's just a deck because, in vintage Which is a deck. Yeah. And, like, the thing about Young Pyromancer is... Young Pyromancer and the tokens don't have prowess. It costs one less, mm-hmm. so it's yeah, it's cheaper. Uh, but the thing about it is, even if the tokens didn't have prowess, Monastery Mentor still would, and you still get tokens. So True. like, it still adds more value even at three mana, right? Than I just, Young Pyromancer would, but the prowess is what yeah. takes it. Over my the edge my point is like the the leap between simply filling your board, which yeah. is nothing to shake a stick at, no, not at and all. then filling your board with guys that get huge they yeah and that's the thing they get massive it's great so uh it's a four of of those in the deck of course uh if you want to win with this you put four in makes (laughs) sense uh three jace vrin's prodigy which is a welcome surprise Mm -hmm. to me um so he's really just card advantage early and then a bonus later yeah if he's not um i'll say i don't want to say rarely do you flip a jace playing vintage but that's really not your goal I think with Jace, most of the time when a Jace is played, you know you need to kill it. Yeah. Um. Even if even at being baby Jace, the baby Jace is actually really powerful. So like you should it is, definitely, definitely sh- uh, just shoot it as quickly as you can. Yeah. Draw a card, then discard a card. If there yeah. are five or more cards in your graveyard, exile them and flip them. So yeah, 
Yeah. That's pretty strong. Um, looting is not uh, a useless mechanic by any stretch. No. Uh, looting's great. Uh, and then a one of Snapcaster Mage, which is kind of makes sense for blue decks. Yeah. Like, anytime you want to get your spells back. I think it's interesting that it's a one of. Yeah, um, me too. Because I don't, I don't know that there's many spells you'd want to cast twice. Maybe Time Walk, of course, to get three turns in a row. But uh, even so, like, yeah. I think it just gives you outs. I think because any of the cards you've already sure. used, you can now use again. Sure. And that tends to be a draw spell or a counter spell or something like that. And so, like, you get yeah. those options just by having Snapcaster. I, I think nine times out of ten in this deck, it's a counter spell, though, right? Oh, I think so. You yeah. Know? Like, um, you've you've countered early. You've got your board out. Yeah. And if they can, although saying that, you don't, you don't Snapcast your Force of Will because it'd be its flashback cost at five. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So you wouldn't do that. Um, huh. But, I mean, if you do have the mana, which you wouldn't most of the time. But, yeah, like, you, you know, theoretically could. But yeah. does it, what other counter spells, I guess, does it run? Sure. So besides Force of Will, there's four mental misstep. Oh, that you could flashback. Yeah. Um, this is an interesting one. Pyroblast. Oh, yeah. Main board? Yes, two main board, one side. Wow. Yeah. All right. Um, Fair. And I believe I'm looking. That's it, man. Interesting. Yeah, I thought that was it. Whenever I um, oh. Pyroblast, I feel like this is a. We talk about it a lot. This is a meta decision. This is yeah one sure. that you know in vintage blue is probably the strongest color. Yeah. So you would want a pyroblast. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's not only counter target spell, it's destroy target permanent if it's blue. Yeah. Which is, I really like the blast effects, even though they're so specific yeah, yeah. in that you've also got removal. So you don't need to. You just don't have to counter. just hold it up. Like, right. You can just shoot something later yeah. on. I think it's uh, neat. In that color, obviously. Right, right, but right. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we'll talk about the instance and sorcery. So there's 28. <laughs> there's uh, eight creatures with a th- uh, three Jace, four Mentor, one Snapcaster. And then 28 instants and sorceries. Ooh. So, yeah, you want <laughs> things to turn on that mentor yeah. and get stuff out. Um, so you've got stuff like Ancestral Recall. Yep. For one, refill your hand. Well, not refill, but you draw three cards for one. Like That's on. just insane. Yeah. Uh, there's a reason, uh, what was it, Treasure Cruise was banned. Yeah. Right? yeah. <laughs> That's Treasure Cruise, I feel like, was supposed to be a fixed uh, Ancestral Recall. And it kind of so just too. turned into a Ancestral Recall. A like slightly less good ancestral. Yeah. I say slightly. It's a lot less good technically, but I mean, like yes. you get to draw three, and more often times than not, you're paying probably one or maybe two or three. Yeah, and like, three for three cards seems fine. That's for me. fine. Yeah, like that's, I would take that any day. Right, like divination would be so much better if it was three. Oh my god, <laughs> yes. So many people would play it. They might honestly. I, I think you would. It too. Yeah. Um. So of course, one ancestral recall, one brainstorm. Uh, one dig through time, four force of will, which no is surprise, pr- yeah, pretty stable, pretty yeah. standard. It's uh, also free and triggers the monastery mentor exactly, and that's so not to impede no, on your deck tech, but I think what's important to note here, going through this list, is mm-hmm. all of the cheap and all of the free stuff. All of that stuff triggers the mentor. It's not so just like, like it's, on your turn. It's yeah, exactly. Anytime like any time you play it. So like even if they're gonna like. Say they lightning bolt your mentor. Well, say you just need to draw a few cards. Well, draw a few cards, get another guy. Even if you can't, like, prowess it up again to let it survive the lightning bolt, you still get a guy with prowess that's mm-hmm. left behind. Like, that doesn't go away. They have to double, you know, bolt or do something like that. Like, True. there's so many interactions that work out in your favor when you have mentor out. Yeah. It's no matter what. Like, even if you lose the card, they counter something. Counter back. They counter again, doesn't matter. You get another yeah, guy. It just right. doesn't matter. Like, yeah, it's true. awesome. Um, it really means that each of your spells have so much upside. Yeah. Uh, like Kevin said, um, counters become threats, which is really cool. Yeah. Um, and even threats become threats. You can bolt <laughs> stuff and pump mentor. Yeah. Um, you you don't run bolt in this deck, I don't think, but you could. No. For I instance. mean, just kind mentor would, I guess. Yeah, but but. I think there's different variants of this. Yeah, and this, too. I guess, there's... is technically Jeskai. You know? Is it? Well, yeah, you got Pyroblast. Pyroblast and, so. um, I know I've seen a few lists that run Bolt, oh, but sure, there's sure. also like Esper Mentor that just doesn't mm-hmm. run red at all. There's different versions. You can do this so many. Yeah. I, Mentor is such, is such a powerful card in yeah. that it can work in so many things. Yeah. It's so splashable and it feels good. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, 
So a fragmentize is an interesting include here. <coughs> Uh, destroy target artifact or enchantment with converted mana cost four or less. Um, at sorcery speed isn't great, but at one mana destroying artifact, that can be one of their moxes. Yep. That also nets you a token. Yeah. So yeah, and some life, which isn't irrelevant. No. Uh, doesn't no. fragmentize. No, 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 no. You're thinking of um. Uh, I'm thinking of uh, nature's one. claim. Yeah. Yeah. My bad. Hey. I get the segue off of that. <laughs> uh, you've also got Gitaxian probe. Free, draw Free. a card, look at their hand. Uh, just, Information is yeah, valuable. It's such a good card. Um, not strong enough to get banned, but whatever. Uh, <laughs> gush. That's another topic for another day. Yeah, that uh, is. Gush. Um, I say that so much. <laughs> I know. We, we should just make a list. Yeah. Um, four mental misstep. It kind of makes sense. Yeah. Uh, one merchant scroll, which I thought was kind of neat. Is Search that a tutor? It is. For a blue instant or sorcery, I believe. Or no, sorry. It's just blue instant. Uh, reveal it and put it into your hand. No, yeah, that's good though. I mean, Merchant yeah. Scroll I know is played a lot in Vintage, so that makes sense. Yeah, and it's a one of. Um, I think you can do a lot of things with this to kind of yeah. mess with mess with them. So if you want Merchant Scroll, your second main and grab a Force of Will. Now they know you've got one. Yeah. Now they have to play around that. They have yeah. to respect it. Yeah. It's um, kind of nice. Is Merchant Scroll itself an instant? It's not. I okay. wish. If I was it, just wondering. If it was, that'd be. That would be super dirty. I think <laughs> like, that'd be broken easily. Um, yeah. Uh, but it is a sorcery now. Huh. Uh, Interesting. Yeah. So, and then Mystical Tutor mm-hmm. um, is an instant. Um, <laughs> so. That uh, is dirty. <laughs> yes. And we all, we all know. We're, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, ponder. Kev, Ponder's in this deck. <laughs> I thought you should know. Um, Thanks. Does that make sense, though? Does Shameless plug. Make- Go watch the previous episode, yesterday's episode, where we talked about Jace versus Ponder. Yeah. I will say this, though. There's one Ponder for Preordain, but only one Brainstorm. So, no. Do with that what you will. Uh, we said <laughs> two Pyroblasts, of course. <coughs> three Swords to Plowshares. If you're splashing white, include Swords. It's, yeah, I mean, it's cheap removal. Yeah, you don't. You could be playing against any number of janky turn one Lightsteel decks. You want to exile him. You want to be able to pass. He does not have hexproof, correct? He's just no, not indestructible. No, no, no. He's just indestructible. So, and, yeah, you like, can trample swords it. and infect. Trample and infect and indestructible, I believe. Which is scary, so. Super good. Yeah, don't get Swords me him. We'll talk about Blightsteel momentarily. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, a time walk. So Obviously, yeah. yeah time walk's <laughs> fantastic. Um, if you didn't know, time walk, sorcery, take an extra turn after this one. How much do you think that would cost? Here you go. Well, let's see. If they printed it uh, tomorrow, it would cost 10 mana. Yeah. Now, this card costs 2 mana. <laughs> take an extra turn. Like, two. think about that for a second. Like, can we just take a moment? Whew. Please. Because here's the thing. Modern taking turns, quote unquote, is a deck. Walks, yeah. Uh, walks, taking turns. You know, whatever. Dictative Crew Fix, Kami of the Crescent Moon, draw a bunch of cards. Oh, yeah, that's the then, one in Modern. Excuse me. Yeah, no, I'm talking so. Modern. Yeah, and then bad. you play like part the water veil, which is like what eight or nine. I don't actually know. You can also awaken it. That is whatever. It says take an extra turn, but you have to do for so whatever much. reason. When magic was first made, they were like, you know what, taking an extra turn, two mana seems good. I mean, we let them draw three cards at <laughs> once, so we might as True. well let them take. We two let turns. them play a ton of mana for nothing. Yeah. Why not? I guess. Why I not be able to time here, walk immediately? Here. There you go. I like, guess. How broken is that? And Snapcaster into time walk. You can do it again. Three turns. <laughs> there Why you not? Go, bud. If you've got four mana, you can do it. Which happens easily. <laughs> yes. You can get to four mana on turn one. Easily. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Time walk is incredibly busted and incredibly expensive. Um, <laughs> true. But what's out of curiosity? How much does the deck cost for you? We're looking at MTG deck, top eight, by the way. So if we're looking at Card Kingdom, yeah, it's only five thousand seven hundred and ten dollars. Wow, that's cheaper than mine. Mine costs six thousand five hundred and seventy nine. If we go to TCG <laughs> Player, though, it's fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred? Yeah, mine's fifteen or sixteen. Sorry, 000. I meant fifteen thousand. Okay, that's I was I about to say mine Ooh, is sixteen thousand five hundred and thirty seven. Fifteen thousand six hundred and you don't know what deck it is yet. Yet. <laughs> I almost gave I it just thought that'd be fun. Uh, <laughs> there's always a line that up. Anyway, we'll get to that. Uh, and then a one up treasure cruise. 
mm -hmm. draw more cards. So with all the card advantage, draw card spells, cantrips, and whatnot in this deck, you're just looking to refill your hand to pump your board. Yep. And that's it. And leave up counters, obviously. Yeah. And of course, it. I'm going to say it's got the power nine. I, can we just say Not that? Not all of it, but yeah. Well, the moxes. The and moxes. Black, so. Yeah. Duh. And time walk. Um, and ancestral. So. And ancestral. So everything but time twister, um, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Which is funny to me that that's in the power. That's a whole other thing. <laughs> and that's we an, say that that's so another often. Topic for another day. Uh, oh, the we'll last never spell. run out of topics. <laughs> Hopefully. The last spell, uh, Dak Faden, <laughs> oh, so to take good. things. You can take a Lotus. You can take Actually, a no, you don't take Lotus. You don't? No, because they can just sack and crack it in response oh, to true, the trigger. Oh, true, 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 true. You don't do that. You take Moxes, though. True, true. Or Soul Ring. True which that. is a thing. Oh, you also have Soul Ring in this deck. Probably. Yeah, probably. I mean, you always run Soul Ring. Yeah, I think you should. Yeah, but um, you do take Moxes. You sure. right, you right. Pardon me. Um, so let's talk about the sideboard. Balance is an interesting include for me. I really like wow. Balance. Yeah. That is a little mm -hmm. interesting. It's a one up. It's kind of a oh crap button. It's a catch all. <laughs> yes, um, oh crap button. I like that. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, because if they. God, in a mirror match, let's say for I instance, think that's when you bring it in. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Uh, in a go wide strategy, you if just bring it they in. go before you and you have no creatures and you just play balance, suddenly they have no creatures. Yeah, seems uh, great. Balance literally. Oh, I'll just read it. Each player sacrifices enough lands to equalize the number of lands all players control. The player who controls the fewest lands cannot sacrifice any this way. All players then equalize cards in hand and then creatures in play in the same way. So yeah, wordy. But Worthy. essentially, whoever's got the least amount of things, you have to sacrifice and discard stuff to equal their things. Yeah. Basically. Uh, which is awesome. Yeah, yeah. Right? Uh, Super cool. Yes. So it also has three Containment Priests, which is neat. I like Containment um, Priests. It's a good card. Now, again, well, I guess this isn't really in the mirror match. It's just a good control card. Uh, it says if a non-token creature would enter the battlefield and it wasn't cast, exile it instead. Yeah. It's also got Flash. So... It's if around Aether Vial. Aether Vial, Reanimator, uh, oh, yeah, Tinker, Reanimator. Um, a bunch of stuff. Any of the combo mm -hmm. free creature stuff. Sneak it gets and around. show. It's, yeah. yeah. It's awesome. Wow, that hits a lot more mm -hmm. than I thought it did. Yeah, it's really good. Wow. Uh, one extra Fragmentize. Fragmentize. It makes wrong. sense. Yeah. Against shop stacks and things like that. Against really a lot of stuff. If you if they find their artifact heavy, yeah. mud, whatever. Uh, Graph Dirker's Cage, of course. Yeah. Graveyard Hate. Yep. Uh, four ingot chewers, I think, is interesting. Um, um, obviously yeah. for their evoke, uh, you yeah. don't want to cast a three three to blow up an artifact at five in vintage. No. That's too slow. So you just evoke. Although if you have five, you play it as a creature. I guess. I guess you could, but I, there's so much more I you mean, can do. Yeah, more than likely you don't. But and yeah. you can just leave up evoke mana anyway. Yeah, with one. That's true. So. Um, <coughs> and then here's an interesting one. There's a mountain in the sideboard. Uh, no, I actually think that makes sense. I just think it's it's clever when people include lands in their sideboard to yeah, their yeah. deck. Yeah. And I just it's really cool. It is cool to see you know, out. I agree um, for sure. It does make sense because you've got so much red in your sideboard. Yeah. Like one extra pyroblast um, that you want to throw in another mountain to yeah. kind of fix your uh, fix your mana a little bit more. I do right? no, I definitely agree. I think it's really cool in vintage how finely tuned the decks are. To the point where you yeah. would include a mountain in the sideboard, right? Like you it's, don't really see that. No, in in other formats, I not guess as much. Maybe in modern, there's very very rarely specific like, I circumstances. Can't, I can't honestly think of one right off the there's, bat. There's so you can. <coughs> there's a deck a buddy of mine played um, at a GP mm -hmm. that basically flips the script and turns into a completely different deck whenever you sideboard it. Yeah, um, and it was a green blue something wasn't very good but yeah, yeah. it was fun um and he's describing it to me and he included five extra forests in the side it's like wow that's a lot of sideboard slots it turns into a mono green stop deck after interesting side. yeah it's that's like cool. it's like tempo controlly in the beginning yeah, yeah. and then it's not that's kind of interesting and it plays like i like that um collecting company then and yeah all sorts of stuff it just gets really big anyway um again it's not very good because it's not consistent and does too much yeah but whatever that's uh <laughs> have a topic for another day uh stony silence Count number three we're at five are we at five probably uh stony <laughs> silence activated abilities of artifacts can't be activated 
wow, way to shut down the Moxes. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Yeah, I'm surprised that's not in Hate Bears more. Cause, uh, it probably is in Hate Bears. Well, no Rod is in Hate Bears. Uh, well, yeah, but that's at four, and this is at two. That's true. Mm. Well, um, so no. basically, no. the idea of the deck is get Mentor out, protect Mentor, and make a bunch of things. Heck yeah. Um, that's it's, kind of it, right? It's really simple. As complicated as Vintage is as a format, the deck is focused yeah. in that if you run around a creature and it's one mechanic, yeah, that kind of makes sense. I guess two, technically. But, you well, know, yeah, yeah. it's really good. It's awesome. I love it's, it. It's taken kind of. I'm not. I'm not going to say taken over vintage, but well, it is a little bit. <laughs> it's 22 percent of control decks. Is it really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Dang. It's that. That's good. pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah. 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 There's like, a, uh, it's absurd how well this deck is performing. <laughs> um, so much that you kind of wonder, would they ban mentor? You can't I don't in think vintage, so. right? Because no, you leave up so many other crazy things. Yeah. That, I don't think you. I mean, they have restricted cards in vintage but i don't really think it nothing's outright banned in vintage right no I and so. i don't think you really <coughs> restrict I don't mentor think you either should. yeah no i don't think i don't think it ever it's should. like if this were happening in any other format like for instance lsv called for death shadow to be banned yeah like and the reason is it's just kind of too good it's just it's too dirty yeah, and consistent it's such a good card <laughs> like it's just too consistent yeah one mana make a you know nine nine usually or something like that like pretty easily yeah in a in a format with shock lands and fetch land like it's just too good yeah it, it, it's broken banning and the theories behind banning <laughs> you want to say it no go ahead that's another topic for another day yeah always is <laughs> um all right talk to the people very cool deck thank you for bringing that to us it, uh it was a pleasure it was a pleasure <laughs> uh we won't say where you work. Um, <laughs> uh, all right. So for the community deck, uh, we had a few suggestions. Uh, Shops was one. Shops Grixis is Thieves was one. I love Grixis Thieves. Which is a very Thieves. good one. Um, but what However. we decided to do was probably my favorite deck of all time. Maybe? Uh, yeah. Um, Knowing you, I'd have to say definitely your favorite. Uh, Storm was a suggestion by Jace Architect of Thought on Instagram. Oh, man. Anytime uh, I'm watching MTGO, a stream, yeah. playing whatever, and I feel like that. All right, a Phantom Menace. There's a lady who has one line in the entire movie. Anakin's running around through Tatooine, <laughs> and she just goes, with no warning, a storm's coming, Annie. You better get home quick. And that's what I think of every single time someone's about to storm off. That's really funny. A storm's <laughs> oh coming. Gosh. Uh, All right. Um, <laughs> every time. Uh, recently, uh, Storm has gotten a bit of an upgrade, uh, which we'll talk about. Um, I will say there are a lot of different Storm lists. Mm -hmm. Some of them run things like Burning Wish and then have the win conditions in the sideboard. That's super So smart, you can Burning Wish way. into whichever one you need. Uh, yeah. Usually they also run one in the main board, just like a Tendrils or something. Um, I'm not looking at a Burning Wish Storm. I'm okay. looking at Paradoxal Storm. Uh, which is very very cool and the namesake Ooh. card is paradoxal outcome uh, and basically mm. what this states is uh, return any number of target non-land non-token permanents you control to the owner's hands and you draw a card uh, for each card return this way so, so good. in a in a format where there's a lot of free stuff like Wouldn't, mox and yeah. black lotus and you know you play them all out up your storm count to on average maybe three four or something like that sure balance them all with paradoxal out well you tap them first to get the mana uh tap all your lands all that stuff bounce them all yep play them again puts your storm count up even more and then the win yeah. condition in this deck is tendrils of agony so you do just tendrils which says deal two or target opponent loses two life and you gain two life yeah so you only uh, need to and get your you storm. storm count to 10 <laughs> yeah to you don't win. actually have to have it that high um, which the paradoxal outcome just makes that so easy, I think. Um, yeah. It's worth noting, paradoxal outcome is three and a blue, uh, but it is an instant, so you can actually storm technically on their turn. On their turn, yeah, uh, that's nuts. Or just do stupid broken things, just cause. Um, yeah, it's very very cool. Uh, tendrils being the win condition, which is two and two black. Uh, so 
the way that you sort of run through this, I, I'll let's just break the deck down first. Actually, lands uh, it usually runs about fourteen lands, mm. most of which are your normal fetches, dual lands, things like that. Um, it right. does run a one of Library of Alexandria. Uh, a free draw seems good. Yeah, um, it's it's nice. I mean, it's so yeah. good. Like if you're on the draw, uh, in the opening game or something like that. Before uh, on your upkeep, before you draw, you draw a card, with, or you'd have to do this on turn two. Sorry, you would draw a card with the library, saying, so I can't help you. and then also draw your upkeep cards. So you end up with like eight or nine cards in hand pretty mm -hmm. regularly. Uh, it's pretty awesome. Okay. Um. Yeah. It also does run a one of Talarian Academy, uh, being that you have all the moxes and things like that, which I don't have written down. They're in the deck. Duh. Uh, but yeah, you get free obviously. mana with Talarian Academy, which lets you cast Paradoxal Outcome very quickly. Uh, it's very, very easy to get to. So, um, creatures, it runs three because it's a storm deck and you don't, you don't run need creatures, creatures in a storm deck. <laughs> don't need them. <laughs> um, it runs a one of Trinket Mage, which I really like. Uh, it just helps you get out some of the easy, you know, free artifacts, things like that, um, for nothing, basically. I mean, it's super easy to get. Sure. Uh, a one of Snapcaster as well, uh, because recursion with instant and sorceries seems pretty good. Uh, yeah, Snapcaster is um, fantastic. Yeah, obviously, it's so, obviously. so good. Uh, one of the better two drops, obviously, in the game. Uh, it might ever. be the best, but again, it might be. that's a whole other topic for another day. Um, it also runs a Blightsteel Colossus, because hmm. storming is not the only way you can win with this deck. You also can tinker into Blightsteel Colossus. Because why not? It seems it's like, <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> it runs a one of Blightsteel and a one of Tinker. So this is a very like slimmed down version. But mm. uh, you could very easily turn one Tinker into Blightsteel and then yes, just win could. on turn two. That happens. You can also just Storm on turn one or two and win that way. Uh, it is pretty consistent, I would say. Um, you get, uh, to help with the consistency with the Tutors, you get Demonic Tutor, Vampiric Tutor, and Mystical Tutor. Mm. So you get three which is pretty relevant, as well as, I guess, three and a half if you count Trinket Mage uh, as a tutor for an artifact. I guess you would, right? <laughs> it is a tutor effect. So. It is a tutor effect, so I think yeah. I would count it. I would too. Um, That's fair. It runs general card draw, things like that, thirst for knowledge, you know, no big deal. Um, it also runs a full counter package, uh, a one of Fluster Storm uh, against other Storm decks, um, four Force of Will, and four Mana Drain. Uh, which I think is really interesting because we just talked about that yesterday too. I mean, but that makes sense, right? Yeah, you, yeah. You'd want extra mana to do Absolutely. other things. Mm -hmm. um, so I get it. Yeah. I think um, if that's probably its strongest deck to be in. Probably, you know? yeah, yeah. Um, it also does run three mental misstep mm -hmm. uh, to protect against thought seizes, inquisitions, really anything that costs one. <laughs> um yeah, uh, as far as other cards in the deck, it runs Time Walk. It runs most of the Power 9 that your deck would run. Um, sure. Thirst for Knowledge, I mentioned. It also runs a one of Yawgmoth's Will, which is sort of an essential card in any Storm deck. Uh, basically, for two and a black, you get to cast cards from your graveyard as if they had flashback. Uh, and it's so nice. this opens you up to being able to play any of the cards you yeah. want again, building up that Storm count and then being able to Tendrils out. Um, it's pretty awesome like yeah. that's basically the bulk of the deck the idea is turn one or two you just start playing a bunch of stuff storm off tendrils or you can tinker into blight steel and win um again it's weak because it is a combo deck it's a little weak to disruption that being said though with the full counter package that it has it's actually not that bad yeah um storm is a really <laughs> like it's such a cool combo deck in yeah. that everything becomes a piece of the combo. Yeah. Really, if you think about it. Mm -hmm. It either serves to protect the combo or enhance it. Right. Or enable it, I guess you should exactly. say. Exactly. Um, um, which is really fun. Storm is one of the, I don't want to say dirty. It's just such a yeah, it's cool a little mechanic. dirty. <laughs> but it's such a cool mechanic. Not like Dredge, I guess. Or Infect. Infect, to me, is dirtier than Storm. Yeah, I think so. Because right. Storm actually, so the thing about Infect is it's actually just really easy to play. You just exactly. play a guy and then pump exactly. him. Exactly. Storm is actually really not the easiest thing to play in the world. You can mess up your own storm combo super easily, simply. Easily, easily. If you cast Dark Ritual at the wrong time, yeah, you could add mana when you don't need it. And exactly. It'll mess you up. Um, yeah, Infect to me is super dirty, which is also technically has Infect in it, but 
Well, yeah, as but Blight Steel, as Blight Steel, yeah. Uh, so that's doesn't really count. That's sort of its own thing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Blight Steel's dirt. <clears throat> yeah, uh, a little bit. Um, it also runs two Sensei's Divining Tops. Uh, hmm. Consistency, being able to find your cards and put yeah. the cards you need on top. That makes sense. I love uh, Sensei's. It also lets you hide away some of your win conditions. So, for instance, if you're playing against a deck that runs Thoughtseize, you know it runs Thoughtseize, and you have a Tendrils in hand. Uh, but you're not looking to storm off with that turn or something mm -hmm. like that. You can, if you do have top out, you can top putting tendrils back uh, and then hide it away. That way, it's not in a bad position oh. if they do thought seize you. So something to think about there. That's really um, good. Engineered explosives is also in huh. uh, as a way to blow crap up. Yeah, um, it's really Fine. all it amounts to. Yep. Um, as far as the sideboard goes, uh, it runs a one of ancient tomb, cheap mana. Uh, one of Dismember against creature decks, Echoing Truth to bounce all of your artifacts or your opponent's artifacts, and that, an extra Fluster Storm uh, okay. against the, the mirror match, two Graft Digger's Cage, obviously, Hercule's Recall, bouncing artifacts. Hercule, that's a fun word. Hercule, yeah. Name. Yeah. <laughs> it name. Sounds, it sounds, sounds like a reject. That's a name. It's a rejected name <laughs> for Monsters, Inc. Hercule? Yep. It was almost. That's a. Yeah. Almost Hercule and Sully, not Mike. <laughs> Mike Wazowski. Always <laughs> watching. I really like Disney. You're doing all right, buddy. Doing good. A <laughs> But yes. Um, it runs to Mind Break Trap uh, against Counter Heavy Dex and Storm. Cool. Uh, rebuild, which I think is an interesting one. Yeah, that uh, one. It I just in, bounces artifacts back to your hand. It makes but I really sense because like you know moxes and whatnot. Yeah. But, so yeah. I you can get also it. cycle it. Um, so, and the off chance that it's just really bad, you can just cycle it. Um, Steel Sabotage, counter an artifact, uh, Tormod Script, and the Jailer, Yixlid Jailer? Yix Jailer? Yixlid? Yixlid, I don't know. Uh -huh. Jailer, uh, also for Graveyard Hate. Uh, this has so much Graveyard Hate, it's insane. But it makes sense. Yeah, I mean, that's um, one of the things it could lose to easily, right? Yeah, for Graveyard sure. Graveyard stuff. So, really, like I mentioned, there's two ways to win with this. You can either just Blight Steal easy win it's a winning or in uh the way it's more meant to win is just by storming yeah. off paradoxal outcome really being a key card in this mm -hmm. being able to replay all of your artifacts it allows for a little bit more consistency with this style deck and then also gives you the draw off of each of them yeah. that you're able to sort of refill your hand and do just tons of crazy stuff yeah. um <clears throat> ideally finding another paradoxal outcome and just keep doing it uh God, which is 100 percent possible cool. uh so be really cool with all of the free artifacts and things like that, you're able to get so many draws off of that card. Yeah. I mean, for four mana, you're going to draw like five, six cards easy, mm -hmm. I would say. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. Um, a very, very good suggestion from Jace Architect of Thought on Instagram. Thanks, oh. buddy. Um, I really love this deck, so I'm really glad it was suggested. Yeah, I was hoping Storm's somebody fun. would say Storm just because I like Storm. Storm is fun, yeah. um, and it's a... It's an effect that kind of like Cascade, but maybe more so. They can never do again. No, like yeah, they, they can't. Never they can't make it any better than it already is. No, I mean the thing about it, like they did, they reprinted a couple Storm cards in the Mind versus Might deck. Yes. Um, but they will never like in a main set reprint right. Storm. That's, that's what just I'm they won't. like stupid. They might do it in a Master set, but that's a whole separate. They're thing. not gonna draft new Storm cards. <laughs> no. Uh, in the like Excuse me. the Wizards room. I think Mark Rosewater put storm at like the top it was like up there with dredge as the mechanic that nobody will ever reprint and I mean, that makes sense yeah and i i kind of can't be mad about that no as much as i really wish they would do it just because i like it I it's so not good but i have to think magic. of every time i've lost two storm yeah yeah and i'm like all right no, yeah, it makes yeah, sense yeah. that they won't um but yeah very cool decks i like mentor a lot i also like storm a lot so this yep. is one of my favorite vintage episodes um vintage is, it's a fun episode yeah. um it seems to me that the variety isn't quite as expansive as your modern or your legacy. Yeah, I think modern is like super expansive right now, mm -hmm. which is great. Um, I mean, again, that. Death Shadow is yeah. at the top, uh, but there are a lot of other decks that are being played in modern that are really sure. cool. Vizier Company, Ad Nauseam, mm -hmm. uh, Storm. Um, there's a lot of different, different sure. decks out there. And while Grixis Death Shadow is definitely at the top. I don't really think there's an. It's argument. like it's the deck to be, but yeah, it's still a wide open format. There's still deck. It's not like you only see Gre Grixis Death Shadow yeah, in the top eight. True. Like you see a lot of variety. Uh -huh. I say a lot. There's some variety. No, there's uh, a lot. Um, it's not uncommon to have 
unique decks at each spot top eight. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, Scred Red. It's a that thing. Is, that's a little outdated now, but Scred Red winning. It's a thing. <laughs> was pretty awesome, too. Scred was fun. Who thought Scred Red would win? Um, uh, Before we go into our Cracker Pack and our sponsor, uh, I do want to mention yesterday we had our question of the week uh, discussion. We did. Uh, which was, what is the best counter spell in Magic's history? We posted that a week ago. Um, yep. And so basically what we're doing with this is we're asking a question. <clears throat> Excuse me. You'll get there. On Monday, uh, and then talking about it on the subsequent Sunday uh, right, as sense. part of our Filler Fun Day episode. So this week's question will be posted everywhere, but we also wanted to mention it on here. What is the best one-drop creature? Yeah. We'd be interested to know what you guys think. There are a ton out there. There's a lot of good ones. Um, you know, Swift Spear. Goblet Guide. Mentor. Not Mentor. Uh, Flippy. It does the Delver. Delver. Woo. Death Rite Shaman. I was thinking of him, too. There are so many There's a drops. lot. Charging um, Badger. Don't knock Charging Badger. In the Badger. episode, no. That's all you need. Um, No, yeah. Charging Badger. If anybody um, votes for Charging Badger... You're my hero. You are my hero. <laughs> you're wrong, but we can be wrong together. No, you're That's not fine. wrong. I don't know. You're wrong. Um, But yeah, there's a lot of good ones out there. Uh, we'd love to hear what you guys think. And again, we'll talk about it and sort of go over which cards won and things like that on yeah. the Sunday episode. It's nice to hear your opinion. See what y'all yeah, exactly. think. Um, but... With that, uh, we Come go to into it. our sponsor of Grand Slam Comics and Collectibles, uh, written on the back of these here shirts. I turned around, but I did that last time. Yeah, Let's go watch um, that episode. It's a fun watch. episode. It is a fun episode. It's a lo- our longest episode. Yeah, it's a little date. over an hour, I guess. Yeah, but um, hour it's... and four minutes or something yeah. like that. But yeah, uh, it was a good episode. But they have been providing us with these cracker packs for a very long time as well as a few other episodes that we've been able to do thanks to them as well as the unhinged episode which was a fun one um we encourage you guys to check them out their links to their facebook and their website are in the description below yeah uh so go hang out with them clamp is over there running things right now and he's doing a fantastic yeah job. it's uh, really sweet show. They're, they're doing a lot of cool stuff so absolutely absolutely um guys Let's get to this, Kevin. Yeah, you found your goal card. You don't really have my one goal card. Anymore. I don't have one right now. We're so it's just, just to, me. <laughs> yeah, just to mention uh, because Hour of Devastation is coming out very soon, uh, we're not going to be picking any more goal cards for Amonkhet, uh, just because we don't want to be stuck into opening just Amonkhet. So uh, we'll see what happens. What are you looking for though? I'm looking for Combat Celebrant. And I assume you didn't get it. No, I got a <laughs> Regal Caracal Carousel. Carousel. I got the carousel cat. That thing. <laughs> uh, other cats you control get plus one, plus one, and have lifelink. When this cat enters the battlefield, create two 1-1 one, one cat creature tokens with lifelink. I really like that card. It's a 3-3 three, three of 5. Yeah, um, it's fantastic. <laughs> In the cat tribal deck that's going to maybe become a thing, it's going to be a <laughs> maybe. staple. Maybe. <laughs> I'd say maybe. People will try it. I, I am doubtful right now if it's competitive. Oh, maybe not, but it's still going to be awesome. It'll be fun. <laughs> so, 